Hello guys, welcome to your bite size tutorial series. In this series we're going to be looking at Flexbox through short bite size videos so you guys can get to the next level in your CSS journey. So just before we get started guys, just going to be a quick introduction, a quick tutorial overview. Uh, I just want to stress firstly that this tutorial is mainly for beginners and it's targeted at those who understand the basics of CSS uh, but want to start using Flexbox in their projects. So what I've done is just broken this tutorial down in a four video mini series where we're going to be learning what Flexbox is, looking at the Flexbox model, uh, why we choose Flexbox, and then we're going to be getting stuck in and start writing down some code and looking at the main properties of both the Flex container and the Flex items. And these are sometimes referred to as parent and child elements. And then we're going to finish the series off with some practical examples of when we might use Flexbox. And finally guys, just a few prerequisites which would be helpful to know before starting this mini series. It would be pretty, pretty useful to, to have a basic understanding of both HTML and CSS. If you don't know any HTML uh, and you'd like to learn, I do have a HTML5 crash course on the channel, which I, rec I would recommend looking at. And then lastly guys, you will need to download a code editor if you want to follow, lo follow along through this mini-series. And the code editor I'm going to be using is VS Code, which again I have a video on, on my HTML5 crash course on how to get set up with VS Code. So if you could please hit the like button and please consider subscribing as it really helps the channel. And let's get started. <laughs> 